Hey, it's me, the self Relaxed Kid. So right now, this is part two of the Knots and Lashing series, and I'm going to start you off with the square lash. So, I have two dowel rods attached to a vise, and this is, well, this lash is more of a lash so you can take two sticks and put them in a T type of formation. Um, there's other lashings to do different stuff, but this one's just for that. So I'm going to start off with a uh, clove hitch. So first I'm going to take my line and lay it at an angle over top of the dowel rod and then bring it under and then put it over so I have an X and then slid on me. Then I'm going to take it and come underneath this top piece of paracord. And then I have that. Pretty much it looks like an X with the line coming out of the top of the gap of the X in the top. Yeah. So I'm going to go over top first. And I'm going to come under and over top again. And then come under. Okay, so if I go over here, I'm going to come, come underneath this dowel rod and then come up right alongside this other piece and then go down next to the piece down here. Make sure everything's nice and neat or else the knot won't come out the way it should. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to take it and make the frap come around it twice. It really depends on the size of what you're tying. If it's a larger in diameter log then you want to do more reps but this, since this one's small I'm only doing two and then I'll come over here and finish it off with another clove hitch. And there you have it is your square lash. That shouldn't move. I don't think that's right. Or, no, the only reason why it's moving is because this paracord is really slick and it's on the smooth dowel rod, so that's why it's moving. But if you have it on a bark, it, bark log, it won't move. But that's how you do it. So that's the first lashing um, of the series. That's what it should look like. You should see a clove hitch right there, and then the two two strand um, wraps right there, and then you should see four lines down here, and two of them is for the clove hitch, and then two of them is for the wrap, and then two of them is for the frap. So, that's what you should see. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for your views and your comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.